Reason number four, because this is all pseudoscience. Pseudoscience is an easy label to paste on anything with which one disagrees. There are physicists who have become celebrities and published popular books based upon their rejection of string theory and its extra dimensions. Lee Smolin says that theorists not interested in this field can find themselves unable to receive funding for their research into alternative theories. And Peter White says that this is not even science because it makes no falsifiable predictions. So even though I've made it clear that what I'm showing is only a creative visualization of 10 spatial dimensions and not a scientific theory, what I'm trying to help you visualize is a concept that some physicists will tell you is nonsense even before they work through my ideas. Likewise, my willingness to explore the existence of free will automatically makes me wrong in the eyes of those who've been taught to believe we're all helpless automatons, acting out predetermined chains of events set in motion from the beginning of the universe. And have I ever tried to hide the fact that I believe there's evidence for consciousness as a process that can have connections outside of our narrow space-time window? Of course not. And anyone who has read my book or watched any number of the 400 videos I've posted so far to YouTube will know that. And while these all may not be mainstream ideas, there are certainly scientists out there doing research into these same questions. Do all scientists agree on all ideas? Of course not. But exploring new ideas is what science is all about. Thank you.